What's up, everybody? This is Jose from Sun Life. And Kay. Bienvenido a Miami. Welcome to Miami. Sapase Nabule. Que vuelta serie. Ah, pero que lo que es, mi tigre. Aquí estamos en Miami, bro. I'm on, we're going to drive south on 22nd. Um, it's just, it's going to like just slide right through Miami. We're going to go from northwest to southwest. A clear cut drive through Miami on 22nd. 22nd has a bridge. So heading south through Miami. And then eventually we'll head towards, uh, we're heading to the Florida Keys. Allegedly. Allegedly. Because if you guys are subscribed to our YouTube channel, you know. That we do freestyle road trips, which is kind of the, I think the, is the legacy of our channel, or the theme of our channel is uh, basically unprepared, undocumented, unplanned road trips. You know, we just hit the road, there's no specific, um, no specific direction. We just go on a road trip every month, just about, with no... I don't know where we're going. Where are we going? Who knows? <laughs> Ying Sabra. Who knows? We're just on a road trip. Last month we went to Katy. How far did we make Canada. it? Canada. We made it all the way to Quebec, Canada on Turn our road trip right last month. Yeah. West 14th Street. We went to Quebec City. Quebec. Why are you GPS in place? What? Why are you GPS in place? But, but you wanted me to do that. No, I'm going to drive all the way down 22nd. All the way down. Okay. All the way down 22nd. Mm -hmm. You go through a bunch of neighborhoods. And then that's it. So what's nice about 22nd is that it has a bridge, as we just saw. So you can cross from northwest to southwest. And this will just give us a kind of a wide landscape of what Miami looks like. Este tipo es in the fast lane con un trailer atravesado, man. Este está atravesado, man. Atravesado. Este tipo... Ah, no, he's getting out of the way. Qué clase tipo, Siri. Qué clase tipo. Clase tipo. Primero se atraviesa. Después, when you try to pass him, se quita en medio. Porque es un tipo pesado, man. Un tipo pesado, Siri. Teddy, what are your thoughts on Miami? It's Miami. I love how people say Miami is dangerous and they have mm -hmm. absolutely no idea what the crap they're talking about. It's like one of the safest cities in size in the country. No other city this size is as safe. Do you have to like it? You don't have to like it. Mm -hmm. Do you have to like Miami? You don't have to like Miami. You're not required to like it. Who said you're required to like it? Just because you don't like it doesn't mean it's dangerous. Mm-hmm. Oh, you don't like the people, you don't like the way they look, you don't like the things they're don't doing. Have to come here. Don't come here. You don't have to like it. But you, know, you don't always have to lie. Does Miami have its particularities? It sure does. Oh I see it! It definitely has its particularities. <laughs> it's not like every other place. But is it dangerous? That's a far stretch. That's a far, far stretch. Because it's not compared to other cities its size. If it was in Europe, it'd be dangerous. <coughs> if Miami was in Spain or France, it'd be dangerous. But in the United States, it's one of the safest cities. So, do you have to like it? No. But do you have to lie and say that it's dangerous? Absolutely not. I love that building right there. That's so cool. Look at that limestone yeah, building. Yeah, I love limestone. Limestone building. Yeah. They don't let you build stuff out of that anymore. Mm -hmm. It's interesting because they last forever, but then they don't let you build it anymore. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. A limestone building, there's a limestone building in the Everglades. I don't know how long old it is. It's right on US 41 between Naples and Miami, right in the middle. Me cae mal. Me cae mal. ¿Qué? Me cae mal. Este tipo se me atravesó. Would you believe that this guy se me atravesó? ¿Qué? Este tipo se me atravesó. 
It's a deep body seagull. Hey, watch your mouth. What? What did I say? You said this guy is a paralyzed psycho. No, este tipo. Este tipo. Este tipo. Este tipo. Okay. <coughs> este tipo. Este tipo. Se me. Se me. Se me. Se me. Este tipo. Este tipo. Se me. Se me. Atravesó. Atravesó. No, no atravesó. 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 No, no atravesó. 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 Atrave. Atrave. So. So. Este tipo. Este tipo. Se me atravesó. Se me atravesó. Try that. Este tipo se me atravesó. Este tipo se atravesó. No, he's not a transvestite. Okay. Este tipo. Este tipo. Este. Este. You know how to talk Spanish. Don't act like you don't. Este tipo se me atravesó. Este tipo. Este tipo se me atravesó. Sí. Okay, come down. You got this. Relax. Like you're all stressed out. Relax. Breathe. You got this. Este tipo se me atravesó. Este tipo parece sol. Este tipo parece el sol. You said this guy looks like the sun. No, this guy got in my way. Este means this. Tipo means guy. Se me means he did it to me. Atravesó means got in my way. Este tipo parece el sol. This guy looks like a sunflower. Este tipo es un girasol. No. No, the guy's not a sunflower. He's in the way. It's not as funny as you think it is, bro. Not knowing Spanish in Miami is no, not funny. No, being nervous. No, I have no, like a good. nervous laugh. No, you're good. Come down, breathe. You're doing good. Este tipo se me atravesó. Este tipo para el sol. No. That guy is not stopping the sun. Este tipo para el sol. No. He's not eh, stopping eh, the sun. He's. Yeah, Katie. Eh, eh, fácil. Eh, Mi amor, mira. Este tipo. Este tipo. Se me atravesó. Se me atravesó. So. There's no L at the end. So. Este tipo para el sol. No, I'm losing my pace. Este tipo se me atravesó. Este tipo para el sol. No. This guy's not stopping the sun for you. He's he's in your way. Listen to me. Technically he is. <coughs> Look. Listen. Atravesó. Atravesó. There's no L at the end. Why do you keep putting an L at the end? It's an O, not an L. It's travesó. A. A. Tra. Tra. Beso. Beso. Why are you putting an L at the end of the O? There's no beso. A- exactly, like beso. Se me atravesó. Beso. Beso. No. Why are you cracking up? It's not funny. Am I laughing? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not laughing with you. Okay, listen. Okay. Beso, like kiss. Beso. Okay. Este tipo. Este tipo. Se me atravesó. Se me besó. No, he did not kiss you. Dang it, Katie, your Spanish sucks. He did not kiss you. <laughs> si, sí, beso. No, no beso. Imbecile, <laughs> okay. Gosh, your Spanish sucks. Mucho beso. No, not at all. <laughs> you think not knowing Spanish is funny? What I just said is hilarious. <laughs> not for me, it ain't. People are gonna think somebody kissed you and then road rage you. <coughs> Why are you choking? It's not that funny. Not knowing Spanish is not funny. Now tell this guy he got in your way. No, no, don't tell him anything. Not not if you're saying it like that. Este tipo. Este tipo. Se me atravesó. Se me atravesó. 
Se me ha atravesado. Se me ha atravesado. No, he's not on time at all. He, he's in your way. Is that simple para mi son? It's not that fu- Am I laughing? Why are you cracking up? You don't see me laughing. Okay, let's try this. It's that type of battery you stole. Ah, você é brasileira agora? Ah, agora você é brasileira. Agora você é brasileira. It's a type of battery you stole. No, he's not using... Este tipo se me atravesó right here, for sure. Okay, try this, honey. Okay. Try this. Quítate a medio a serie! Quítate a medio a serie! No, quítate a media. You're not telling him to take his socks off. You're telling him to take him... Ah. No. No. Quítate la media, no. Quítate del medio. <coughs> quítate la media means take off his socks. <laughs> you want to scream at somebody to take off his... Okay. You don't want to scream at a random stranger to take off their socks. Don't poop in my car while I'm driving. You need a bathroom? No, okay. So, that's like you're dying. Okay. Try this. Breathe. I love how somebody spray painted 305 on there. Breathe, okay? Because you need to catch your breath. Try it on this person. Tell this guy right here. He looks very aggressive. Try on him. Go work the city! Try que vuelta city. Que vuelta city. But it's not proper for a woman to say a city. Oh, but you don't you don't know how to pronounce it. And you know all the legalities about pronouncing. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's let's start fresh because you're. Yeah, I had enough. Clean uh, slate. Your relatives are trying to get me to say it to like <coughs> people I never met, and then I get angry looks at me. All right, let's try this again. Breathe. Yeah. Look at the Royal Ponciano. Say Royal Ponciano. Royal Ponciano. There you go. Okay, let's get some, some words you can pronounce. Hialeah. Hialeah. Okay. Quítate del medio a serie. 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 Quítate del medio. Oh, I'm sorry. Quítate del medio a serie. Scream it to this guy. Quítate del medio a serie. Quítate del medio a serie. He did not understand that. He was like scratching his head. He's like, he's like, I, I don't know what she wants me to do. The guy, he wasn't even like mad. He was confused. He was like, he was just like scratching his head. Like, what does this woman want? Me? All these Americans are moving in here. I don't understand what the crap they're trying to get me to do. Okay, so. You have to be careful because quitate del medio means get out of my way, basically. <coughs> and acere is like homie or, or dog or something. Yeah. It's, it's a vulgar way of saying homie. Yeah. The problem is you, if you're trying to tell somebody to get out of your way, homie, they can't think you're trying to tell them to take off their socks because yeah. that's a very confusing... Imagine, like... <laughs> somebody, take off your socks, you idiot! That's that's a very confusing. Oh, yeah. What the crap is Scientology? What? There's a Scientology up ahead. I think. Scientology. What the crap is that? Oh, we're supposed to turn here already. We're gonna take a left here. Is this US one? Yeah. Oh, that was 14 yeah. minutes. Okay, I thought it was gonna take longer than that. Try this guy. Tell him. He looks like he'd fight back. Please don't give me people that It's look okay, like you're a woman. Fun. Nobody's gonna do you're not allowed to hit a woman. <laughs> what was I wearing? Cubans are, Cubans are very formal. They're not gonna hit a woman. Say it in a minute. Alright, try this guy here. He's definitely Cuban. Alright. Okay. Try a dale mijo on somebody. Dale mijo! You're struggling. What's the place you want to go eat at, Colin? Habaneros. On the creek? Si. It's Habanos on the creek. Yeah. Man. Two hours. Unbelievable. Um, 
What's up with the red? I'm not gonna get in for traffic jam. Can I just take you one for one? Yeah, you can do that. Okay. US one is red. In some parts. If you're gonna move to Miami, you have to learn how to scream at people. And you can't. Quítate talk. de medio aceite! There you go. Quítate de medio aceite. If you're gonna move to Miami, you're gonna have to learn how to scream at people. <laughs> and you can't tell them to scream at random people to take off their socks. There's enough crazy people in this town already without you telling people. Take off socks. Oh no. I really think it's gonna take us like four hours. We're gonna have to eat something in Homesteader out here. Okay. I really feel mm -hmm. that it's gonna take us like hours to get down out through the Miami. We'll see. I mean, you, we worked out here, you know. I mean, it is the summer, but either way. Yeah. Well, you know, whoa. Let's see. I'm in a rush. Yeah, we'll just wait and see. Quítate de medio, Cere. Del medio. Said no, you said quítate la media again. Quítate del medio. Quítate del medio. Quítate del medio, I said it. Why do you like <laughs> why do you do it? You don't have to like Quítate del medio, I said it. Sound like <laughs> you have okay, you got the you got the words now. Now you gotta work on the accent. It has to, you <laughs> sound, you have to sound like you're like you're irritated when you say it. Get to the damn menu, I said it, mijo! There you go. Oh, that's better. Este tipo, man. Try that one. Este tipo, man. No, esta no. Este. Este. Este tipo, man. Este tipo, man. You have to, like, you gotta do a hand motion. There you go. Este tipo, man. Este tipo, man. This person thinks I'm better than <laughs> <laughs> They're looking at you like, oh, he's helping her. <laughs> She's doing therapy in traffic. <laughs> I saw that look the lady gave. Yeah. She looked at you like you're dumb. She's like, she's yeah. like wow, wow. Slow down with the door down. <laughs> There's some crazy drivers on this road. <laughs> well, the problem is it's going to take us two hours. To get through Miami. Um, I almost feel that if we got on like any road that took us to Kendall and then came back off, the girl might be better than trying to drive through here. But maybe I'm wrong. It actually, it's only like small spurts that are congested. It's like two small spurts on the whole whole route. All right, we'll, we'll keep going with it. Is there anything to eat around here that we would like more? I'm really getting hungry. I know you want to make it all the way down there, but hey, we gotta get gas at some point too. We'll get gas in Homestead. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other basic necessities in Miami? Why is this guy's trunk open? Cause it's Miami. How did you fit that in there? Cause it's Miami. <laughs> Any more questions? Those apartments are for rent. Look at the sign. Call and find out how much they cost. 305. 44. I'll get it off Google Maps. <laughs> yeah. You know what I've noticed about Miami? It doesn't matter what you're doing. Like, you go into a business or a restaurant or anything. And if, like, let's say, like, the restaurant's all. Let's say the restaurant's all Cubans. Mm hmm. If you're not Cuban, they don't treat you right. Or like, let's say it's all one as ones. If you're all one as ones and you're Cuban, you go there. Like people here, like nationalities, like really don't mix very well. Yeah. Like you notice, some, like if you go to a business and it's all Mexicans, even if it's a Cuban business, if they're all Mexicans, like and you're Cuban, like they kind of like it's weird. Like I've gone in and ordered places where they speak English, but, but the fact you. the fact that you don't speak English. They're like, it's like a horrible thing to have to serve you. Yeah, I know. Like they speak English, but they don't want to. Yeah, Miami has its, its little details. Oh, I discovered that not even in Miami. You like it's in Naples very, and stuff. It's, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's it, a Latin American thing. It's yeah. very sad. It sucks, yeah. Like, oh, you 
You're supposed to do it in a wool shirt outside the gas station. That's so yeah. Sad. No shirt on. What's up with this EBT graffiti everywhere? This is absolutely one of the most horrendous. One of the most horrendous roads in Miami. Yeah. Camera like ours. Ooh, they got the carbon fiber door handles. That's pretty cool. They. Uh, mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. They have spotted right near our hotel mm -hmm. where we swam yesterday. Mm -hmm. Hammerheads. Hammerheads. Hammerhead. Yeah. Yeah, I saw there was a huge hammerhead in uh, in Biscayne earlier today. Mm. I saw that on Facebook. Yeah. <clears throat> then like a monstrous hammerhead, like just unbelievably large. Yeah, yeah, I saw it like swimming around people. <clears throat> right by our hotel. Hmm. The thing is with the water, like most of the time they just swim around people. Like they saw the people and then yeah, just like swim around yeah, sometimes it. Sometimes they eat them and stuff. Yeah. No. <laughs> Not usually how it works. Unless they feel threatened, they don't really do anything. There's people who are just like standing in the water. Like the people. Basically, uh, two women in hats talking to each other on the beach. And then they just swam around. around them. Yeah. If you really saw that, why didn't you record it? I had a video. I saw it. Okay, so you didn't see it. You saw it on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Or Facebook or something. Okay, there's a difference between I saw it in real life and, and I, I saw did. it. I did. I just had my YouTube. phone in a uh, place. But it was interesting. There's sharks and stuff in that water. People in Miami drive like they're crazy. Yeah. I don't. I'm a very well tempered. Get out the movie! I say it, that driver! You know, like, why be so angry yeah. in traffic? Unless you sure you're like. You don't want to eat in Homestead. Aggressively swimming. What was like one restaurant we found in Homestead that was really awesome? Oh, the, the restaurant like Julio's? Was it Julio? Was that Cuban or Mexican or both in the same? Cuban. It was like Cuban, Mexican. I just remember I, be some, I ate something in, in Homestead that was just incredible. I just can't remember what it yeah. was. Get your crotch fitter out of the way, buddy. Crotch fitter. That's a new slang word for a minivan. A crotch. How do you say it? Count. Help me out, Katie. You're an English speaker. How do you say it? Crotch fitter. Get your conch fritter out of the way. Is that the right? How do you say that? Katie, help me. You're an English speaker. A native born one at that. Conch fritter? How do you say it? Mm -hmm. How do you say is it conch fritter? Conch fritter? Get your conch fritter out of the way. Hey, go watch your conch fritter. It stinks. That sounds like a very vulgar word. Conch fritter. Doesn't it sound vulgar? Like a slang word for something nasty. Is it Mario's? Like a dirty sock is a conch fritter. Hmm. Like get your conch fritter out of the way. Or a minivan. Like I hate minivans. Minivans are con. Help me out here. You're not helping me. No. <clears throat> Specialist? Okay. What's an apple specialist? Ah! I'm a donut. 
es el Donald. Mira como le Donald. This is the one thing I don't like about the Florida Keys. I okay. think they should make a bridge between like Everglades City and Florida Keys. Wouldn't that be awesome? Oh, I will say this. We should try to stay like two or three days in the Florida Keys. I don't care what it costs. Mm -hmm. I'm a big time bowler like that. Mm -hmm. And I want to rent a jet ski. Mm -hmm. I want to like do this trip like we've never done before. Mm -hmm. I want to actually have fun. Yeah, I really actually want to have fun. Mm -hmm. We always go to Florida Keys like on a limited. And in the Florida Key videos, just don't get enough views. I don't know why. Look at the Denny's. Well, we are a little bit bigger now than before. It's still not enough. Look at this lady. Look at the walk. Look mm -hmm. at the walk. It's so sad, man. You see, look how skinny her legs are. Mm -hmm. It's sad out here. There's a lot of Denny's in this area. Remember we used to eat at Denny's when we used to... Yeah. Look at the walk. Mm -hmm. Skinny legs. Dale, mijo. Quita de medio, serio. She is so skinny. Miami City. Miami, man. Miami, man. Where are you from, Miami, man? And where you go, Miami, man? Miami, man. Miami, man. Miami, man. Miami, man. Miami, man. Miami, man. I need to buy some drink so I can do my mouthwash. That's what it's for. Okay. Get some rum or something. Why are you petting me? Am I really that out of control? Do I need to be petted to calm down? No, I need to pet you to calm down. What's wrong? I don't know. You find a place in, in Homestead? Yes, I found the one that we liked. You want to go there? Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. I really don't want to wait to get all the way in the Yeah. Keys. It seems like most of the rain's been over land. I think if we get yeah. out of the Florida Keys, we might not get rain on. Yeah, in the I agree. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry I hit you when I was a tort lawyer. It's just what I was trying to do when I studied to get my lawyer license. At a bar when I was drinking. Okay, I'm not a practicing lawyer. I'm sorry. It's just that's what they taught me to do in law school. Mm -hmm. Punch your customers if they're incorporate. Are you okay? Like you're Yeah. Why are you so zoned out? I don't know. You wanna drive? No. Cause I might I'll let you drive. Oh I may help at all. This guy. Very aggressive. I think they should just get rid of the train and like, all, see all that there? Mm -hmm. Forget the train line. They just need to make two more lanes going south or north. Miami, man. Miami, man. Miami, man. There's a way you could probably do it and keep the train. Like they're doing in New York City? Mm -hmm. Florida never invest in, they're never going to invest in this area. I could see this turning into South Brooklyn if I, in my mind, but they'll never do it. No, 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 like, no, you just need to add, you can add the lanes and then have it on the side. South Brooklyn. I love, I love how this area, like, they, like, look at this Italian tavern. Johnny Papagallo. Papagallo. Oh, yeah, there's a P. Johnny Papagallo, Italian Tavern. And then you have, like, homeless people outside fighting. You know, like, it's so awkward that they try to make this area look so elegant, but it has so many 
trashy elements to it that no matter how fancy they try to make it, it still looks trashy. Mm. You know what I want to get? It's like putting lipstick yeah. on a person from Alabama. That wasn't nice. On a pig. Well, comparing it back to a pig doesn't sound nice either. You get what I'm saying. People from Alabama unsubscribing. Come back. No, we need you. You didn't make me feel welcome. Why should I make you feel welcome? Because no, no. you're better. You know I'm better than them? Mm -hmm. I am better than them. Mm -hmm. Let me be angry at the world. No. Why are you always trying to make me be a better person? That's what you're supposed to do when you love someone. Like, see, like, how, like, elegant, fine furniture stores and Papagayo Italian stores. But then you come out here, and there's, like, homeless people outside. It's so weird how you have this contrast between, there's, like, no middle ground. It's either, like, you're in a $80,000 car eating Papagayo Italian food, or, or you're outside begging. Well, and fuck up. There's no middle ground here. It's like there's just no middle ground. It's either like you're eating at a Japanese restaurant, driving an eighty thousand dollar car, or you're outside of it on Fargo. Like there's no middle ground here. It's just one extreme or the other. Talk about a place with no middle class. This right here. You're either like exorbitantly rich or you're not. Pura Vida Miami. That looks fancy. La Granja. Look at La Granja. Yeah. I love those places, man. My favorite, like, it's like the McDonald's of Latin food. Mm -hmm. No, like, that's both tropical. Mm -hmm. LeBron's like a step above McDonald's. It's like yeah. the Applebee's of Spanish food, yeah. Yeah. I love how there's people on our channel that, that hate that we like Applebee's. Mm -hmm. We have people that are, like angry at us. Like, I get comment, I get hate mail for going to Applebee's. It has you cutting through some areas to avoid the congestion on US 1. Mm -hmm. Um, you're going to start doing that now when you get to 72nd Street, which mm -hmm. will be four lights. Okay, and then this will drive us to uh, mm -hmm. 21 minutes slower. Yeah. Oh, what a nightmare. That way it has you. But I have to take 20 left and right turns. Eh, it's not too bad, but at least it's free flowing traffic. No, it's 20 minute difference. Just keep it. Connect it to here so I can see where we're going. How about that? What are you connected to here? Yeah. Oh, what a nightmare. Mm -hmm. What a nightmare. No, this part of Miami it really is horrendous with traffic. Mm -hmm. This part of Miami is a nightmare. Was that it right there? Right here? No, no, no. You're a step yeah, ahead. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I absolutely hate this part of Miami, bro. And then apartment's three thousand dollars. <laughs> the v yeah, I wouldn't want to live out here. If I were in Miami, I want to be like in Southwest Miami, like south of the airport. I bet the people watching from those apartment balconies is probably interesting. The people watching from up there, oh my gosh, you could just every day have like some random person on Flocka screaming their head off yeah. outside your balcony. <laughs> you definitely see that. Or, like, traffic. The things people do in traffic. Yeah, yeah, you could have a whole YouTube channel. just Larry's Balcony. Yeah. Larry's Balcony. Today on Larry's Balcony. Got that man in my city! And then the flock -a lady Screaming her head off flock -a lady Is it right here or further ahead? It's further ahead. Okay. Oh, I see. You put it on the dash now. Or someone tr yeah. stopping traffic with some twerking in the middle of the road. Yeah. yeah. No, it really is like, this area is just wild. Yeah. And like we said, like, 
an apartment's what, three thousand dollars or something out here yeah. for one bedroom? Like really, three thousand dollars for a one bedroom? Ew. Sorry. I never got this area of Miami. It's weird. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't want to live here for anything. You know, I think, like, they made this area of Miami expensive and complicated mm -hmm. as a way for people who were afraid of other parts of Miami to end up here. Mm -hmm. And then in the process, this became scarier and more inconvenient than any other part of Miami as people here. I don't know. You better know. Man, those Jeep Wagoneers are ugly. Mm -hmm. It's like a giant, it's like a porta potty fell over sideways and then they put wheels on it. <laughs> it's like a porta potty fell over and landed on a flatbed trailer. It's gonna take us 47 minutes to go 22 miles. Or if we could stay on the current route, it would take us. An hour and something. But I will say this: if we stay on the current route, wouldn't be we see crazier crap? I don't know. I don't know. What's the difference? Twenty-two minutes. That's too long. Yeah. Where's the slowdown start? Like pretty much up there. That's why it's having you. Do it's suggesting we drive back. Yeah. I'm gonna stay on it, and if it like, and then if it like, it's one thing, and I really think you should take this route that's telling you. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto Southwest 72nd Avenue. A little tropical. Turn left onto Southwest 72nd Avenue. I see what it's wanting me to do. I'll get on it eventually. Right here, I just got a, a, a half a mile green light on my traffic right there. circle. Continue straight to stay on Southwest. Se Head southwest on Pinecrest Parkway toward Dayland Boulevard. Continue on Pinecrest Parkway for half a mile. Shorty's Barbecue. Mm -hmm. As long as I'm getting green lights, I'm running. Mm -hmm. Once it gets bad, then I'll take. Then I'll get back in there. Mm -hmm. As long as we got green lights, I'm running. Mm -hmm. quarter mile, I just don't get the prices. Like. Like, with all the good areas Miami has, mm -hmm. well, this is a good area of Miami. It's just, the road patterns don't make any sense. I bet you there's good food around here. Barbecues and fireplaces and hot tubs. I feel like as long as we're getting red lights, I'm running. Turn left onto Southwest 98th Street. Three lights. So you can tell it gets bad from here on. But that's why last minute, oh, I could have gone that. Crap, now I'm, now I'm stuck here for real. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Southwest 73rd Court. I love how, like, the estimated time of arrival, instead of going down, it goes up. Uh. They're selling Marie, Marie Hua there. Marie Hua. Head southwest on Pinecrest Parkway. Wasn't there, like, a Nicaraguan restaurant south. somewhere around here we used to like? Mm. Wow. In a quarter Eight, mile, three, turn minutes. right onto Southwest 104th Street. Living here must be a nightmare. If I want to live in Miami, I would want to live like in, like by the airport, you know? South of the airport, like somewhere in like, between Coral Gables and Little Havana somewhere. Or you can shoot to any part of the city. This part down here, this is a nightmare. I 
Te quito la jana de, de, de go where you're going. Excuse me. So we were recently in New York City. Mm -hmm. I somehow feel like Miami traffic is still worse than New York City in a lot of ways. Yeah. The thing about New York City is you gotta know how to get around it all. Yeah. Right? Like, like once you live in New York City and you know which area is not, like, the first time we went to New York City, we struggled, right? Remember? Yeah. Yeah, caught up in Manhattan and all that. But this second time, I talked to a local and he told me, go here, there, there, there. And we rode pretty smooth on our way through New York City. We yeah. went around Manhattan. I do feel like in a lot of ways, Miami traffic's worse than New York City. Because mm -hmm. in New York City, like, they've made it make sense. They've not made it make sense here. Usted se me so. I like the color on these Suburbans, but man, they're ugly. Yeah. And they're, you know, like... The new Escalades are like a hundred and thirty-five thousand dollars. Like really, a hundred and thirty-five thousand dollars. It better be like riding on a cloud. Turn right on the extra wide Northwest. seats. I don't know what it's about, but that's a lot of money. Mhm. Mm it really is. Like it better have like a refrigerator in there. Like yeah, I don't know what the what the deal is about it. First, I didn't know they have like a diesel engine, which is like, why would you want an SUV with a diesel engine? You're not gonna if you buy a hundred thirty thousand dollar SUV, you're not gonna put two hundred thousand miles on it. By the time it's got eighty thousand miles, you're gonna go buy something else. Okay, right now I'm gonna try to build a truck thing <laughs> from GMC and see what try I try to end make up it like with. the most expensive. That's what I was gonna okay, do. Yeah. yeah. See what options it gives you. It's gotta be an Escalade. I wouldn't even go through GMC. Not GMC. Uh, go to go to Cadillac. No, no, we're doing this one. What is it? Uh, I got into the truck. I don't know how I got into the truck. Let Somehow the Cadillacs are thirty thousand dollars more. Mhm. Mm <clears throat> I do not. Oh, that's what I want. Yes, building price, starting at fifty-seven thousand. We want the XL, right? What is it? Yukon. No. S yeah, you Yukon XL. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna build and price, starting at sixty-seven thousand dollars. Okay. And I'm gonna put in. For three miles. Where we live. <laughs> yeah. That'll, that'll help bring the price up. Head southwest on Pinecrest Parkway towards Southwest 106th Street. Continue and then, like, on now, for half a mile. there's no traffic for one little stretch. In a quarter mile, turn right onto Southwest 112th Street, Killian Drive. It's just horribly designed roadways. Four wheel or two wheel? Four wheel will be more. Yeah, definitely the four-wheel uh, drive. We don't want a Duramax, but we want the 5.3, right? No, Duramax is more expensive. You're trying to make it as expensive. It's only $1,000 more. Still, you're trying to make it the most expensive car possible. You want the most expensive... Well, you're trying to make it the most expensive. Why don't you try it with Cadillac? Denali Ultimate, $1, $100,000. You're already at 100000 Yeah. What else can you add to it? There's more stuff we could add. Yeah, keep adding stuff to it. What color do you want? I think, like, if you go with, like, a strange the color. The white, it's a thousand dollars more. Really? Yeah. What if you go with a different color? It'd be, like, six hundred dollars. You want to go with the Continue most expensive? How is white more expensive than the other colors? White frost tri coat. A thousand dollars. Yeah, go with that. Oh, that's, like, that shiny paint. Mm -hmm. Make a U-turn. They don't give you a choice on the rims. Oh, okay. They don't give you a choice on the seats either. In 1,000 feet, turn You're right getting on the southwest Alpine 100. Umber. Alpine Umber.
Yeah, we'll get the trailer assist package, which is $750 more. <laughs> what else can you imagine? Why is this Turn truck... Turn left onto Southwest 100th Street, Montgomery Drive. Oh. And turn right onto Southwest 82nd Avenue. Really? Dude, you painted your... Yeah, that green. too. This guy painted his rear and green. And get a this... floor liner. Head southwest on US 1 South. Cargo convenience. Southwest mm -hmm. Where it has a little straps for your groceries. How much more does that make it? $400. Wow. That's $460. Look at those stupid things. Can you imagine? You're never going to yeah. get $400 worth out of that. Yeah, I know. Look at these trucks. This guy had painted his rear end green. And then this one stanced out his... He stanced out his work truck. Looks like we're gonna add a roof rack for five hundred dollars, okay. five hundred fifty-five dollars. We're gonna add a black nameplate for two hundred eighty-five dollars. A, a black nail plate. What's a nail plate? Nameplate Yukon on, on the dash. Still on the fastest route. On what, the back. What? In the back, it'll let say Yukon in black letters. That costs five hundred dollars. Yeah. How? I don't know. Pollux the exhaust ship, $155. Okay. Or we could go, oh. We're going to do that. We're going to do black exhaust ship for $200. Okay. We're going to get a, uh, we're going to go for $3,400, $3,500 for some red brake calipers to match the vehicle. What's red on the vehicle? No, they're just putting red calipers on it. It doesn't match anything. I know. Cat back. We're going to put the cat back. What's a cat back? Oh, we can't do that. it got to be turbo diesel. It can't be turbo diesel. It can't be turbo diesel. Okay. Now, there's cargo stuff we can add. Mm -hmm. it, uh, they just don't it. What's the price I got so far? Hundred and eight thousand. Okay. I don't understand. It's got all the bales and but then like it sounds like a lot, but eight thousand dollars more on a hundred thousand dollar car purchase yeah. really ain't that much of a difference. Yeah, roof Somebody cargo money, box. Thousand dollars more than huh? I'm 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 just adding uh Donald box Trump stuff. if Donald Trump's buying this car he's not gonna Yeah. Uh, his Yukons are even more expensive. Probably. Yeah. We've added two sidekick carriers. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't. If I don't know what it is or what it does, oh, we're getting a rooftop tent. A what? Oh, this one's even more. You can get a rooftop tent for the high country on top of your Yukon for. $3,400. A tent? Yes. Does that have a photo of it? Oh. So you can camp in your Yukon. I just don't know how I'm going to get up to it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Like the, the, the old lady climbing up there. Okay. I can see this thing taking shape right in my head. There, there's something about tools. We can get a 94 piece tool kit for $450. Cause you gotta have tools. Oh yeah. And I don't know what the trailer thing is about, but apparently we're gonna get a trailer package. The highball is $449. Mm -hmm. And we're also gonna get a brake controller mm -hmm. installed. Yeah, you gotta have that for your whole trailer. Okay, we're still at $108,000. Mm -hmm. I hate drawing train. Or you can get a lease payment for $1,500 a month. But you have to give them $7,000 in signing. And they'll charge you for over 40,000 miles on your lease. 25 cents a mile. Wow. Yeah. 20, so if you put a thousand miles, it'd be 
more if I do her. Yeah. Four thousand miles will be a thousand. Wow. You're leasing it. At that point, you're leasing it while leasing it. Ultra low mileage lease. No, I'm good. I'll be all right. But it's one hundred and eight thousand with like. Almost ten thousand dollars in dealer installed accessories. So in total, you are looking at like one hundred twenty thousand for your GMC you got with your upgrades. Mm. Nice. And that tent, we don't know how we're gonna get up to it or put it on there. Here's a question. Why would you sleep outside the Yukon? It's big enough to sleep in it. I know, we right? had the Yukon XL. We took out two of the back seats. Not the whole back seat. Just the back row was enough where we had a queen size mattress inside the car. Yeah. The only downside was the mattress, it got kind of hot underneath it. Yeah. I, the only difference I would have would be buying that. Uh, thermal blanket or something yeah it was like a thermal blanket i and i feel dumb that we never did it because it's only like 50 dollars mm. that yukon was the ultimate travel beast yeah i wish we didn't have to sell that thing so well, we didn't use it yeah once we I mean once we got that newer car it was like yeah what the crap who's gonna get in the old car when they got a new one yeah yeah we actually bought that truck right in front of us. Same color and everything. Mm -hmm. We didn't spray paint our rear end green, but other than that, it was the same truck as the one in front of us. I liked it. It was just a pretty boy truck. But it was, yeah. Like, it got scratched so easily. Mm -hmm. Well, at that point, we thought we were going to be using it as a workhorse, and we had never ended up using it as a workhorse. The fact they had three repairs within the last first 10,000 miles was like garbage. Yeah, it was just like... <laughs> I mean, we're almost to 60,000 on this Toyota. Mm -hmm. We haven't had a single issue. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and how much of that has been us? 45,000 miles? Yeah. So we put almost 40,000 miles on this car. And it already had 15,000 miles when we mm -hmm. got it. And it hasn't had a single mechanical issue. It's got cosmetic issues, but not mechanical. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like the part of the seat that comes out and then hurts you. Yeah, but that's yeah. all cosmetic. It's not mechanical. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. So here's a car with 60,000 miles and no mechanical issues. This Toyota Camry. The truck in front of us with 10,000 miles had already had three mechanical issues. That, if that's not a red flag, I don't know what is. Imagine when that car has 60,000 miles. Maybe I can't do this anymore. I feel like I'm going to pass out. My, I have a headache already. This is no longer fun. I hate this place. Hmm? I hate this part of Miami. I'm going. I'm going to give a crap. And there's our camera. Damn it. That one did it. Huh? That guy did it. There's a camera. I'm pretty sure you're going to take it. <laughs> Yeah, with that camera there, I'm sure you'll get a ticket if you blow it. See how there's cameras in both right? Yeah, there, you'll definitely get a ticket. See how the camera here? Mm -hmm. They have one facing that way and this way, so there's definitely like red light cameras. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think I know where you're trying to take me. I didn't like that restaurant. What are you talking about? Is that the one where like... That was the one that we used to eat at. The last time we went to, um, what? That's not the. We ate at one restaurant in in uh, recently in that I didn't really like too much. In Homestead? Yeah, it was right on the main road. I didn't like it. 
Remember they had like a bar towards the outside? I didn't kind of like it. I don't remember it. I like it. Yeah, you, you, you love the place. I have a migraine at this point. I'm hungry. I'm dizzy. I'm tired of driving through here. It's raining. I'm uncomfortable. I feel like just angry. I hate driving through here. See if there's something closer. Try, try, take that off. See if there's something that you'd run here up ahead. I can't go any further. I gotta stop for a minute. I wanna like my head's gonna explode if I if I drive around forty minutes with this crap, I'm gonna lose it. There's a Cuban guy's restaurant up ahead. Is that the one they have in Fort Myers? Do they suck? Hmm? Cuban guys. You want to try Colombian or Venezuelan or something different? Have you had a Cuban food already? No. The only thing good about this area is the variety of restaurants. That is the one thing this area is like going for. Is there anything on the water? Another steakhouse. Like, I wonder if it's like. Dos Rudas? Dos que? Dos Rudas. How's it spell? The R word. R U E D A S. Dos Ruedas. <laughs> what are they rated? It looks good. It's rated 4.3, but it looks amazing. Mm. They got like charasco, they got everything. Like the soup. Like, the sandwiches look amazing. I wonder if, like, on the water... Dos Ruedas. Didn't we eat there when we used to live out here? Yeah, no, it was we really good. Out here? Yeah, we used to eat there all the time, and we loved it. Are there any restaurants, like, see this on the water, like, right on the water? I wonder if there's any restaurants, like, right on the water. So Starbucks on the water? I just... Yeah. I want to get something to eat close. Dos Ruedas. Okay, we'll go there. That's where you want to go? Mm-hmm. Yeah. They have a lot of American food. Mm-hmm. That's fine. No, it's not. If they're catering to Americans, their food's going to suck. I think we ate here when we used to live out here. Mm-hmm. Whatever. If you want to go there, we'll go there. Okay. Any Cuban restaurant that carries American food sucks. They're catering to Americanism. Capitalismism and Yankinism. What's your favorite Cuban restaurant, Jose? Head southwest on US 1 <laughs> South towards Southwest 141st Street. I bet if you metal detected in the median here, you'd find nothing but needles. <laughs> <laughs> the most Cuban restaurant I've ever been to uh, has a kids' menu with. Uh, it's one of your favorites, on too. One South, that has, like, one. all, like, American foods, like. Macaroni and cheese, chicken nuggets, hot dog. Do not bend to the imperialism. <laughs> you have no idea what I'm talking yeah. about. She's like, Jose, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. But you've been watching, what's that TV show my dad watches? You've been watching America. Which one? Amer what's the um, The question the, is which one? Because I've seen him watch a lot of different things. The Republican Cuban TV channel. Every watch. few years they change his TV stations. Yeah. What's the like Republican Cuban TV thing he watches? America TV. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Just like over the top. Man, I can't stand Spanish television. There's one where the only Spanish television I ever enjoyed uh -huh. was Sábado Gigante. And that's not around anymore. And uh, probably that was it. He had one where it was like a cooking show. It wasn't a real cooking show game. Yeah, I know. It was like a cooking show, and it always turned into women <laughs> dancing, dancing with whatever fruits they were. <laughs> yeah. It was a very graphic cooking show. It wasn't like a real cooking show. Yeah. It was very graphic. A very graphic cooking show. 
it's, like one time like they were, yeah. do, they were doing they're they had to do something with watermelons they just ended up girls and dongs smashing watermelons at least when he had that it was like actual tv at least it was perverted what no well, like actual stuff and not just sitting around for hours on end talking about politics yeah 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 at least the perverted tv show yeah. was perverted at not, least there was like other stuff going on than let's just talk about politics cool for five shit. hours. Yeah. Yeah. No, I will tell you the the perverted cooking show was definitely better than the than the angry Cubans. Yeah. Who we'll think they're Republicans even though they barely speak English? Cuban guys, right there. Okay. Starbucks coffee. <laughs> The Cuban restaurants and Starbucks on every block. The Starbucks is in a gas station. Former gas station. <laughs> That's still good. Yeah. What's that right there? Fudruckers? Fudruckers. What is that about? It's like burgers. Yeah. It's actually really good. They make their burgers and butter or something like that. Yeah. Zoo Miami. I was there once. Is that lane moving faster? Let me see how I can get into it. Stop shaking your foot, bro. You're about to get punched in the face and you don't even know it. Mm. Why would you be so cruel? You drive to this crap and see how it makes you feel. We're one minute away. That's true, but I don't believe it. One minute. I'll teach you a lesson about shaking your foot and domestic abuse. <laughs> Ford of Kendall. I can't afford a candle. Ooh, they got the truck I like. Which one? Tundras. I do want that new Tundra. Yeah. But I, I we have to have discipline. We can't just switch cars every six months. This is insane. We've had this for a year. No. Over a year. No way. Yeah. We've had this for a year. Turn yeah. right onto Southwest 160th no way. Street, mm-hmm. Gloriel Drive. Are you kidding me? No. We've no. had it a year. That's the most we've ever had a car. <laughs> I want to pay this off. Mm-hmm. The whole first year, it's nothing but interest. Yeah. Horrendous. Good thing we got that. Um, turn right onto Southwest 160th Street, Colonial Drive. Then turn I'm just right saying, if you're waiting for a bus, you shouldn't be dressed that fancy. Mm-hmm. You're going to see somebody at a bus stop and you're like, wow, if you had just not got your outfit, you would have had a car. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Isn't this we ate here before? Remember when we used to work uh, in Miami? No, that way. Turn Remember? right. Then turn left. We've eaten here. It's a Cuban restaurant, but they're infused with like they're they're like almost a lot of Nicaraguan stuff here too. We ate here, remember? It was awesome. I thought it was a Vietnamese Cuban. We ate here, remember? We ate here when we used to work at the at the at the place with the story open. Remember, it was like Cuban, but then they had like Venezuelan and Nicaraguan stuff too. They got juices. Yeah, yeah. This place is awesome. Yeah. I remember we stayed here. It was it was great. Make sure you take your what? Mm. Take get yours. I'll take it in. I'll trust this parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This place is. This is it. 